Hello everyone, welcome back to the DW World. Today is the date February 23rd year 2020 and today's topic will be when dollar falls, where's the biggest opportunity. And on top of that, um, I would like to pay a very big special tribute to my dear friend from Philippines and she is Dr. Siti Aminajayan from DTI Philippines, Department of Trade and Industries. Alright, Dr. Siri, I know that you're going to, you're going to retire and uh, sincerely, I wish that um, you have a happy retirement, okay, fulfilling lifestyle. Well, I'll spend more time with family and uh, I really hope to see you uh, more often again, alright, which I truly hope so in all the rubber conferences, seminars and, um, and um, events, okay, in the region uh, this year onwards. Okay, the first time uh, I remember I met uh, Dr. Siri was in the year 2014. <clears throat> that was the year in the Philippines when the, I was a speaker for International Rubber Conference. And we were sitting on the same table. And after my presentation on the paper, I came back down and she actually asked me, say, well, um, Dao Wong, how can we invite you to speak for us? And um, well, shortly after that, on the same year and or the following year, I, I remember that. And I was invited to speak in Dawao, okay, uh, that is also the hometown of uh, Philippines President Mr. Tudeta, and I really enjoyed that trip. And uh, soon after that, um, for the next few years, we have been uh, meeting very often and uh, talking and exchanging opinions on rubber. Well, uh, it's a big, big, big loss um, to the Philippine rubber industries, uh, in fact, to the regional rubber industries. Um, for Dr. City to retire and uh, we still hope the, we can gain her knowledge and we can meet more often well as we can. So for this, today I'm going to cover a very special session on the Cycom rubber prizes because I've been asked by a lot of uh, rubber players and rubber friends in the rubber industries on where the rubber prizes will be heading. Alright, um, as a Rubber prize speaker since 2011 in the in the um, global rubber conference. I hope uh, I can share some insight and uh, let you guys know. You know rubber prizes most likely will be covering from this week onwards, 24 February, and probably until mid March or end March. So stay on with us, and uh, we hope everybody can benefit. Then coming back to today's topic, okay, today's topic. Um, I remember a couple of days back, I did a Chinese podcast, okay, which outlined on the romance of the three kingdoms. Okay, this is a very um, typical Chinese classic that is based on the true historical events during AD 208 years. Yeah, that's about 2000 years ago. Yes, 2000 years. All right, then um, it has um, a very typical story and market situation at that time. Okay, the real situation that the uh, that we can actually um, put into the current situation and take a look um, at the US dollar index, spot book prices, and WTI crude. Okay, the same situation. So to cut the story short, um, my understanding is that uh, okay, US dollar index is always uh, being counterbalanced and being counterforced by uh, spot book prices and crude oil prices. Okay, two in one. So whenever uh, US dollar falls, okay, we're gonna see spot gold prices and crude oil prices uh, recovering, or at least one is stronger and one is weaker. Well, on the other hand, of course, um, if we are talking about uh, dollar index being very really strong and uh, propelling higher and higher, that's a time when uh, most likely we're gonna see a recession in the commodities market. Okay, right after I did a podcast on last Thursday, Okay, and the following day, Friday. Okay, Friday at the market close, we have seen the dollar index uh, coming back down from uh, 99.80, okay, dollar index USDX. And uh, <clears throat> back down for about 100 points. And we are expecting, okay, and projecting that this coming week from 24 February onwards, uh, market is going to go down a little bit lower which will propel spot book prices and WTI and bear in mind that what I'm going to share with you now today is not just about um, understanding the market situation for this week anytime into the future all right anytime 
whenever you see dollar falls and you have um, some doubts on market situation come back to this video clip okay look at it again and perhaps you are able to find uh, some similarities and they're able to map it on the then situation and able to maneuver and trade your positions properly okay last but not least before we get into the part two uh, of today's podcast with i'm going to show you on the uh, on the market chartings all right at the end of the at the end of the podcast uh, do us three favor three favors okay three favors number one if you like us please give us a like okay leave a comment at the bottom of our podcast tell us uh, what you would like us to cover in our next podcast and what you would like to understand more on the market situation and we'll try our best to do what you want and secondly don't forget subscribe to us okay on your right hand bottom corner there's a small little red button that reads subscribe okay click on that and you'll be informed whenever we upload our new uh, podcast in the future and last but not least number third share with friends okay as long as you feel that this podcast has helped you in some way or another or you feel that someone needs it just as much as you or me perhaps all right um, just share with them and we hope uh, we can benefit more people all right it's free of charge and well learn together and let's progress together and understand what's in the market and let's make money together right stay tuned to us and we are moving into the part two now hi everyone welcome back to the dw world today is a date 23rd of february year 2020 and it's down here all right um, as i mentioned earlier i want to give a very special tribute to my dear friend dr city from dti philippines hence i'm going to cover a little bit of bonus today which is the psychom rubber prices that i hope well, we can benefit all the rubber friends, rubber traders from upstream to downstream in the regions for this small little podcast. All right, first of all, let's uh, take a look. Let's take a look at the uh, dollar index. All right, dollar index, as you may, as you can see here, this is a day chart. All right, a day chart. Um, like I mentioned earlier, um, just a couple of days back, I was um, doing a, a, a expectation that the US dollar will fall, and once the dollar fall, we are going to see a search in uh, gold price and WTI prices. Okay, look at this. All right, this is a day chart. The first high was done here. All right, as you can see, uh, the date is uh, September 3rd, 2019, last year. And the second top here was done in, okay, on last year, October 1st as well. So the last top here was about 99.24. As you can see on the price scale on the right hand side, okay. And uh, last week, when the US dollar index actually broke up this top on the day chart, it went up on a one day, two day, and the third day, it actually came down and fell below the benchmark of 99.30.3. Point, point point All right, uh, according to our experience, when whenever we, we, in the past, whenever we saw a breakup in any market instrument, a the market instrument has to stay above the breakup price for more than three days or in fact it'll be good to see four days before we can confirm that the price the prices will continue to be bullish and move up so in this case if you look at it um, in less than four days in fact on the third day it came back down here and that was actually on friday upon market closing right hands and so forth we actually um foresee that uh, this coming week um Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, up to Friday. All right, most likely the market will continue to move back down here, which this was the uh, previous resistance that will turn into a support. And that is actually confluent to this um, averaging line. All right, this uh, should be the EMA 20 average line. All right, which actually stays at 90, 98.50 to 98.60. Okay, so this week, okay, to cut short the... Um, the summary here we're expecting the market price to move lower and start to go sideways zigzag around here okay uh, target price will be at 98.5 or 98.6 so on the overall we are looking at a mild weakening of us dollar index for coming week starting from 24th february and throughout the whole week until well, 5 6 7 8 9 29 february 
Okay, after we have a look at the US dollar index, okay, uh, let us just um, take a look at the weekly chart. From the day chart, we actually turn it to a weekly chart. As you can see, on the weekly chart, uh, it is rather toppish here. Okay, and um, this is exactly where we are on last Friday when the market actually came back down. Okay, and on the previous top here, that was in the year 2017 May. The market was also very toppish and started to fall after after the prices uh, failed to clear above 100 benchmark that was here. All right, so this is on the weekly chart. Let us move across and uh, take a look at gold prices. Okay, before we move to gold prices, uh, as I mentioned, whenever there is a fall in the dollar index, the opportunity always lies in WTI crude and spot gold prices. All right, these two instruments are very perfect uh, counterbalance to US dollar index, which means um, spot gold prices and WTI always move on opposite trend to US dollar. <coughs> okay, let's take a let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the WTI prices first. Okay, which is uh, WTI crude. WTI stands for West uh, Texas Intermediate uh, Crude Oil, which actually are those crude oil that is produced from USA. Okay, as you can see, there's a small recovery up here, starting from the date uh, second, sorry, February 11. Okay, it has been up for a series of days. This is a day chart as well, as you can see, the time scale here. Here, but um, strictly speaking, the WTI crude. Um, it is recovering, but uh, the bullish sentiment is still not too strong. All right. Um, the main reason is uh, most of the fund actually uh, have flight into precious metal prices, and uh, also the uh, OPEC have been talking about uh, uh, continual production cut this year, but uh, have not really really pushed into a very sharp uh, production. A cut in the crude oil prices that can push the prices up. Okay, now take a look at this. If you um, look carefully, okay, from the last bottom $49.50 per barrel, it has gone up to a top here last week. That was last Thursday. Okay, the top is about $54.40 and it is hovering here. But on the day chart itself, if you take another closer look at these two averaging line, this is the line that runs with the chart. This is the exponential moving average four days and this is the exponential moving average 20 days and this is EMA 200 line okay first thing we have discovered there is a crossing up okay a crossing up of EMA 4 and 20 and that actually signals a strong cutting that um, indicates a change of momentum to be bullish Okay, on top of that, the second reason that uh, we are quite optimistic is this indicator. All right, if you look at here, this is the momentum prices. Okay, then um, we use a 20 days parameter to mark the crossing. So whenever if you see the whenever we see the momentum crossing up above the zero line from negative moving to positive, and confluent to the to the to the cutting of EMA four and twenty. There's a very big opportunity that the WTI crude prices will continue to float up this week, all right, this coming week. And from this current $53, we are expecting the market to be anywhere near up to here, $56, which was the previous high, or even to this purple line, about $56 or $57. So this week, all right, we have a little bit of room up here for the WTI crude. And when crude prices go up, of course, uh, as we mentioned earlier, that will become a counterbalance and move inverse to the dollar index. So crude oil prices will be up. And of course, crude oil prices up, that is a good news to rubber prices. As we foresee, rubber prices will be moving up. That will be later part. All right, a special tribute to Dr. City. Well, um, let's move on to spot gold prices first, XAU. Okay, take a look at this. Take a look. This is fantastic. This is a day chart as you can see here. All right, spot gold prices have actually uh, broke up above this top. Okay, the top here was uh, one thousand six hundred and eleven dollars that was formed on the date January 08, early this year. 
and on last Thursday all right market actually opened and traded higher it has broke up and Friday it actually went up higher so according to the theory that I mentioned earlier okay it has gone up for two days if gold prices can withstand another two days which is this coming Monday and Tuesday above this uh, 16,011 dollars most likely all right listen up most likely gold prices will continue to float up higher uh, until the end of February or even up to mid March okay how high can it go for example if gold prices are moving up okay if you compare gold prices to crude oil prices definitely we foresee the gold prices um, have got more opportunity due to many reasons like uh, post Brexit okay funds flying uh, flight out of the Europe and um, UK all right to go as a safe haven and of course on the recent coronavirus outbreak the fear of investors that will put the money into gold okay and of course uh, when dollar tanks down there's a good chance to look at gold prices okay if you look at a weekly chart oh my god mama mia the last time we saw the gold prices at this uh, six, six, uh, one thousand six hundred forty three dollars okay that was what long time ago which when was that that was 2013 February okay let's take a look at a month chart okay a month chart probably we can have a more visual presentation okay if you look at a monthly chart um, well the last time we saw gold prices trading at this high 16 hundred forty dollars per ounce that was in a year well 2013 February oh if I look at that that means we are actually now doing at a seven year high for the gold prices seven year high okay so if gold prices continue to move up continue to move up okay the next level in fact I foresee how high can it be of course if you are taking at this top that is uh, that's going to be 1,800 okay 1800 US dollar per ounce but I think that will be a little, a little bit fast it will take about two or three months to reach up there this is a month chart okay let's take a look at the um, weekly chart okay weekly chart okay the first top perhaps uh, it will not be 1006 okay taking the progressive top this is going to be the next top okay here okay that was formed in the year 2013 January okay 1694 do you, do you see that 1694 on the right hand side okay 1694 so which means if gold prices continue to edge up this week okay the first target it could be here near to 1700 US dollars and that is highly possible we are about another sixty dollars to go and personally i reckon that if the prices move above one six six zero okay one thousand six hundred sixty dollars we are going to see a lot of um, short squeeze on the stop loss prices that the market will will, will go up right in a one way um flood up mode as we call it okay so uh we are now in a very um rational um um expectation as we look at the market okay if um dollar index is going to plummet as we um expect okay and we outlined earlier all right moving down to uh, 98.5 or even 98 okay in this week or over to the next two weeks we are going to see crude oil prices recovering as well as gold prices moving up okay after the gold prices let's take a look this is the Cycom rubber prices Cycom rubber prices okay this is a very special session that uh, we especially want to cover on the rubber prices because uh, well on one way is a tribute to Dr. Siri Amina Jain and secondly is also because I have received a lot of requests from our rubber friends from the industries uh, since I have been the annual speaker in the global rubber conference uh, since 2011 okay I've, I've spoken in uh, more than 20 countries on rubber and commodities so many people have been asking me all right for rubber industries uh, regardless upstream midstream or downstream on where the rubber prices will be going take a look at this 
Same thing here, all right, this is a uh, Cycon Rubber that is trading SGX and this is the day chart. On Friday closing, the price was uh, 136.1. This actually meant um, $1.36.1 per kg, okay, or in another word, it is 1,361 US dollars per ton of natural rubber, okay. So if I look at this, Earlier, as we mentioned, if uh, crude oil prices uh, are going up, gold prices are going up, both of the major commodities are pulling up. Most likely, we're going to see um, Cycom rubber prices floating up this week. Okay, another reason, if you look here, is of course on the uh, momentum which is um, recovering from the earlier bottom here, okay, to this level. And most likely, if it closes up, Okay, and approaches uh, to this uh, 100 level, which is a zero level, and turning into positive. And um, that is where we mm, project that this week, okay, the market could be going up to somewhere around here at 142. And that is, a, uh, that is a, uh, actually $1.42 per kg in the natural rubber. Okay. Um, on the downside, okay, we see a very strong support here as a uh, market traded in very narrow range and squeeze here previously at 134 okay or we call it one dollar 34 cents per kg so if the market happens to come down draw down and stays around here well this is a good place um, to pick long positions and wait for the market to go up however personally i don't think the market will be down here more likely it'll be going up okay on the day chart let's take a look at the I love to look at this 4-hour chart on commodities because of shorter trading hours. Okay, on a 4-hour chart, uh, as you can see, okay, um, the market actually has uh, done a beautiful support line. Okay, let me, let me do it nicer. Okay, can we see that? Wow, exactly at 142 as I mentioned. Okay, based on this um, uh, four hour chart in the Cycom rubber prices, okay, and of course there's a crossing here for the EMA 4 and 20 in the four hour chart. If the market happens to be strong as we expect and we mentioned, if it uh, floats up on, on this coming week, <coughs> starting from uh, 24th February, year 2020, okay, the next possible level that we foresee the market heads up to will be at 142. So rubber prices are going to be quite bullish and, well, we believe that's the good news and uh, all the good things will come to all the rubber industries players and my very dear friend uh, going from all the way to Philippines, Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, China, Vietnam, Thailand. Okay, we wish you all the best and uh, do good in february to march as uh, commodity prices are recovering okay thank you for staying with us and i hope uh, this uh dw world today that we cover on the uh, um, us dollar index going down and inversely on the other side the opportunity will lies a lot in gold prices going up to 1700 us dollars per ounce and also on the wti group prices going up to 56 dollars us USD per barrel uh, is as good as those people who are watching the rubber prices. All right, stay on with us and uh, come back again for the next DW World. We hope to bring you more uh, good news or tips and um, some foresight into the market tips. Thank you.